Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the Dexter Electric Brake Kit. This comes with your left hand and right hand side brake assemblies for your trailer. So if you're adding brakes onto a trailer that didn't have them before, this is a great way to do it. It's a much easier install than putting in a hydraulic system. You don't have to worry about running hydraulic lines or getting an actuator for your trailer. All you really need to do is put these guys on there, connect power and ground, and you will have to get a brake controller if you don't already for your towing vehicle to be able to act, to actually make these work. But other than that, it's pretty simple and it's just an electric connection between the vehicle that you're towing with and the brakes. So really easy way to get those brakes added onto your trailer. Let's take a little closer look at these guys, make sure that they're the right fit for your specific application. They are 12 inch diameter, brake assemblies and they measure three and three eighths inches wide. So these are going to work for the ALKO Hayes axles only. So if you have that style axle, this should be a good fit for you. They should work with most of your standard hub and drum assemblies, including Dexter, Lippert and ALKO Hayes. So just keep that in mind. Um, as far as the actual brake assembly goes. You don't really have to worry about making any kind of adjustments. So there's virtually no maintenance with these. All you need to do is just make the initial adjustment whenever you first install them. And that's going to be by adjusting the little dial down at the bottom, just like you would with any other brake assembly. But once that's done, that's the only time you have to do it. After that, it should automatically adjust as those brake pads wear down. The brake pads themselves are bonded to the side of the brake assembly so you don't have to worry about any rivets causing damage to your hub assembly. A lot of times with the older styles that were riveted on there, those rivets would actually cause grooves or gouges to be dug into the hub. So these being bonded or glued on there is actually going to be a lot better connection between the shoe and the assembly. The edges are chamfered or kind of filed off to make sure that it's a nice smooth even braking. And then at the back we'll have our plastic backing plate. This is kind of nice because it means that we don't have to really worry about this ever rusting out. Uh, it's plastic, you can't rust. So this is going to kind of be an advantage over some of the metal ones, which can rust out. And this just protects the rest of the assembly from water and everything else getting in there and gumming up the works. The rest of it on the other side is going to be covered by your hub, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. Back here we'll have our two wires to connect to power and ground, and then our four bolt pattern for our connection onto our ALKO Hayes axle. These are rated for 8,000 pound axles and they're going to fit a 16 inch or larger wheel. Again, 12 inch diameter, three and three eighths inches wide. They are made in the USA. They do come with that mounting hardware as you can see down there, the um, nuts there. These do not come with the plugs for the back of that backing plate to plug them up. It's not a huge deal. You can get those plugs sold separately. They just kind of keep out any other um, water and dust and debris from getting into the assembly. But it's just a pretty small hole at the back, so it's not really that big of a deal. But if you want to find those, you can find them right here at eTrailer.com. And if you don't have a brake controller already, you can also find those here at eTrailer.com. So check them out. We've got a lot of other accessories available for your trailers. So if you have any other questions, we should be able to help you out. Thanks for watching.